So colors, how do you use colors? The question is, how do you use colors in Pygame? That's what I'm going to be explaining you. There are two ways you can do it. That's what I'm going to be explaining you. Now, this is the second video in a series, in a Python series, where I'm teaching about Pygame. So if you would like, you can go in the description and uh, go to my channel and then look for the playlist. If you'd like to watch the previous video, the first video. Now, Pygame. What I'm going to do, I'm going to first import Pygame. Then I'm going to create a canvas. And in this canvas, I'm going to make the screen 500 by 600. Now, my colors in Pygame are done in the RGB. They are made in the RGB color scheme. Meaning that the first one is red, green, blue. How much red do I want? How much green do I want? And how much blue do I want? So to make my red color, what am I going to do? I want to say green. I want 255 of green. I could say I want 100 of green or 500 of green. I mean, the maximum is 255. But I could say I want between 0 and 255 of green. Of red, I mean, or green or blue. Now, green, I don't want anything. Blue, I don't want anything. That would give me pure red. The same for blue. Red, I don't want anything. Green, I don't want anything. Blue, I want everything. That's pure blue. The same for green. Now, we're going to how, to, how do I use my defined colors? So what I do, I want to make a block. I want to call my pygame.surface. Now, in the previous video, I explained what surface is. But if you never, if you never watched it, I could explain it. So surface will take in a list. That takes in the size of the surface. That's the width by height. So that's 500, 50, 50, I mean. Then I'm going to fill this block with the color red. After filling the block with the color red, I'm going to call canvas the bleed. Now bleed makes a copy. It's going to make a copy of my block on the canvas. So I want a copy of my block on the canvas. Then I'm going to call it a, uh, which position do I want it? I want it 100 by 10. Now if you, if you, if you never watched it, the previous video, please go back and watch. I'll explain how come how Pygame positioning is done. Now I won't call my Pygame the display dot flip. Which what does it do? It uh, it gets the block which has been copied onto the canvas, which is now underneath to bring it back on top. So if I run the code, I can see. If I run the code, I can see I have my red block here. Because I filled it in color red and I have it at position 100, 10. Now, but that's not the only way to use colors. In Pygame, they are inbuilt. In Pygame, they are inbuilt colors. Which means that colors which you could call inbuilt. Now, in this scenario, if your code is not working, don't forget to put this down code here. Which I'm going to explain in the coming video. Now, I want to call my block and I'm going to now fill it again with the color gold. But this, in this case, I'm not going to define the color gold in terms of RGB. What I'm going to do, I'm going to call the inbuilt color gold. So I'm going to say pygame.color gold. Then after that, I'm going to say canvas dot bleed, make a copy of the in this block which I'm now making the color gold and put it at position 210. Then flip it on the screen. Meaning that it's now underneath the screen, bring it back on top of the screen. So if I run the code again, you could see that here, in this case, I have my gold block here. But in this case, I didn't I used inbuilt color to define my gold block. I didn't use the underneath color. So in, that's how you do colors in in Py, in Py game. So you could play around with this to make variations of different colors, magenta. Uh, you could make cyan. You could make let me see what other color the purple because all different colors are different there are different variations of red green and blue so in this case you could uh, you can use this to do that so thank you for watching